Hello and welcome to the show. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I tried to get away from the army using a car that had no brakes. And I saw in the comments of that video, someone challenged me to try and get away from the army with a car that had no tyres. And this intrigued me. So today, I'm going to have a go. Now, as you can see on this Evo, tyres have been shot out. They will disintegrate fairly shortly after after setting off. Now, I chose an Evo 6 chat for this challenge, sorry, for two reasons. First of all, four-wheel drive. Wanted a car that all of the wheels were driven. A rear-wheel drive vehicle with all of the tyres gone, you're not going to be able to put any power down, it's just going to spin around in a circle if you try and go around a corner with any speed. So yeah, figured that uh, all-wheel drive would be the way to go. And secondly, also wanted a car with a decent amount of power. You know, a car that's got a decent amount of speed so that we can try and make the most of, well, there's not a huge amount of traction there. We can make the most, we can hopefully accelerate at a decent enough rate and maybe get up to a half decent top speed. So, Evo 6 seemed like a, a good choice. Also, I do very much like the Evo 6, which uh, always helps. Let us get the 5 star wanted rating. I'm going to get going as soon as possible, because once these tyres go, but they're, they're already starting to go, I was hoping we might be able to get past some of these cars before the tyres have gone. We could not, and now we're in trouble. We immediately got clipped by the first bloody army car, and now we're going to get bullied by a barracks. This has not gone well. This has not gone well. Evo, follow, follow the Emperor. It shall carve a path through the army vehicles, or not. Nope, no carving a path. Ah, ouch, ouch, ouch. Go. No, we're round in a circle again. We're going to get murdered by a barracks. We're going to get murdered by a barracks. I'm running away. <laughs> This is not a good start. This has really not gone very well whatsoever. Oh no, we're getting boxed in by two barrackses. Um, no. Oh, crap. At least he's kind of got himself a little bit stuck over there. We can get turned around and find our way out of here eventually. Okay, problem number one. Oh, Emperor's cleared a path. Prius! You, I, I need all of the help I can get. I will take help from a Prius in this instance. Uh, Prius, I'm going to... Oh, Prius made it through. Prius made it through the army roadblock. Well done. I hope I hope you were a good distraction there. I hope the army cars were wanting to murder you. Anyway, we've almost made it out of this bloody road. Handling. There is... It kind of drives like a boat. And not like a nice agile speedboat. We're talking like a giant ferry. Because it really doesn't turn. It's It takes such a long time for any steering input I do to actually translate into the car moving. But... Uh, was a little bit caught out by the, the initial onslaught. A little bit overwhelmed. We're getting up to 70 miles an hour on the dirt, though. That's not bad going, actually, for a car with no tyres. I'm tempted to try a slightly different uh, way out of way out of this initial area. I'm thinking the motorway, I might have real trouble trying to swerve out of the way of cars at high speed. So if we go on a slightly slower road... Ooh, what about actually going through the wind farm? I tend not to actually go through this direction. I'll tend to go sort of the off-road bit by the prison. But what about if we drive our way through the wind farm? Now, you might be thinking off-roading is not exactly the greatest idea when I have no tyres on the car. Getting traction and so on on the dirt isn't, well, going to be very easy. And no, I'm not going to be massively fast here. We're not going to be able to lose the helicopters. But the army cars themselves don't tend to come off-road very well either. They tend to do silly stuff and have accidents and whatnot. So, this could help me. And the wind turbines could splatter the odd helicopter here and there, which could also be quite entertaining. Jump our way clear. Thank you for the uh, demonstration. I think that was a helicopter getting splattered by a turbine. It could have been a car falling off somewhere. But uh, it was good timing. Ooh, another thing's gone. We're going to stay out here. And of course, being off-road, I have got a lot more in the way of options for dodging out of the way. But barracks, although a mess is going to get me. No, no Evo go. We're fine. We're fine. We didn't get skewered into a, uh, into a wind turbine. Um, Uh-oh. This could end poorly. No, this could end really poorly because I can't steer out the way in time. Ah, we just just made it. And we're going to jump down this way. Uh, those hills might be a little bit too steep for me to climb. In fact, what hills are... Oh, I know them ones. I know where I am. I come at it from a different angle. I have lost a few um, army chases in those... Hills. That's where we, we outrun the helicopters in a straight line and dive off-road. That tends to be where I end up going, basically. Uh, well, that was an enjoyable little jaunt, although now there's a crash barrier where I want to be going. Oh, please let me be a way up here. Uh, okay, looks like there might be. Not the greatest way up. We are still going to have to tackle the motorway, though, unfortunately. 
Uh, oh, that's not a motorway. That's a train line. Well, I mean, a train line's probably safer for me in terms of, of getting away. Um, we can't lose the helicopters. This is the big issue that we have with this, as I'm not quick enough to uh, be able to lose the helicopters by bounding off-road or down a train line somewhere. Um, yeah, that didn't really quite work. I, I, I thought we were going to come out further along than we actually did. So, yeah, there's a... There's a road that comes off. I think it comes off not too far along up here that I was hoping that lot would ooh, end up by. I forgot my uh, GTA 5 geography. Please roll over, cut. Please roll over. Now go. Now go before we get hurt by everything. Oh, that was close. They got one shot off with the shotgun, I think. That very, very nearly. Well, it took off half my health. If they got another one, then we would have been dead. I'm going back to playing in the dirt. <laughs> playing in the dirt is by far the best chance I have of surviving any length of time. I mean, the car's actually holding up quite well to all of this. I mean, most of the punishment at the moment is coming from the helicopters rather than from being crashed into... Oopsie. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> I've got to be super quick on the reactions. If I start to spin, I know I can't save it, so what I've got to do is stick it in reverse, so we've just got to go for 360s. Please, army crash into the petrol pumps. Oh, he crashed into a car at the petrol pump but didn't exploderize himself. Disappointing. Uh, we've also got to get good at slaloming our way. Please don't be anyone in that, because if he's going forward... Oh, well, we can just crash into it anyway. That's fine. That also kind of works. Ah, oh, I think the barracks crashed into one another, though. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Barracks, barracks, please don't be coming this way. Oh. Yeah, that is where we have big problems. That is where we have really big problems. It takes so long to change directions, and we're not going fast enough. The barracks can and will bully us into submission and spin us round and whatnot. Um, I'm not even sure which way I want to go. I didn't really want to go this way, but we're going here now because we've been, well, forced to. This is where I thought the wind turbine bit was going to end up. I forgot how just how much further down this uh, this part was. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that is never going to end well for me. And I really do want to be going this direction. There might be a gap here. Yes! We're through! Come on, tireless Evo. We can make it, maybe. Um, I'm thinking this grass might be nice. Um... We could try to think what's over the other side of that mountain. I think it's just... Is it quite a steep fall down to the coast from there? Or am I, I, I don't know. I tend not to go to this part of the map that much. Shall we go see how well the car climbs? You know what? Screw it. Oh. Okay, we're not going to see how well the car climbs because we got beaten by a bush again. <gasps> Those bloody things are so annoying. I loathe them. They would be the, the first thing I would take out of GTA 5 if I could. Just get rid of them entirely. Yeah, unfortunately, we actually can climb this hill really quite well. I am surprised. I thought we'd just sit there spinning. We have we have got some good climbing ability. Uh, but, yeah, there's, there's space to faff around with up here, but I can't lose the helicopters. We're not going to be quick enough to get away from the helicopters just using straight line speed, even on a motorway, I don't think. I mean, we did get up to 70, but we really need to be doing 90, 100 to be giving the helicopters issues. Although, I mean, the helicopters can crash themselves into the scenery. That's fine, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that isn't going to really help me. So I think we're going to have to... Oh, we're going to have to abandon that plan, really, and head back down towards... Oh, uh-oh, I can't steer out of the way of that one. I was trying to trick him, and then I just went straight. Oh, excuse me. That was uncalled for. Oh, wow, we're smoking now. The Evo is smoking heavily after all of them bullets. We might be in a little bit of trouble. I mean, we have just about made it to the city. My only hope of getting away now is to find a car park? Find a car park quickly as well. That is some a lot of smoke actually coming out of the front. We are not going to take very many more bullets at this rate. And we're definitely not going to take many more in the way of crashes. Oh, I'm trying to dodge. We might not actually be able to do this inside the city. Am I... I had hoped we might have a little bit more control than we do. It's... Uh, well, we have control. It's the, the length of time it takes for my movement to be translated into Evo moving. Ooh, plan, 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 plan. Please let me go down where I... Th oh, no, 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 no. Uh, um... Okay, but this isn't terrible. I was hoping to find a way down into the storm drain, but when we've... we've not blocked ourselves in horrendously as I thought we might have done when I first committed to heading over this way. Where the bloody hell am I? I'm finding... Oh! No! <laughs> Poor Warrener! 
the poor Warrener has been abused by an army car. We've got a leaky fuel tank, so even if we don't set fire to ourselves, I actually don't know if this spits fire um, and set fire to its own trial, all the helicopters actually managed to shoot it. Uh, we are going to run out of fuel at some point, and then we will be out. Okay, that didn't work. I thought I could sneak my way into the storm drain, but uh, we could not. And in fact, it's not quite where I'm. Oh, look at me. Just don't have steering. We're going to get shot. Doesn't matter. Car would be dead. In fact, I wasn't quite at the bridge I thought I was either. Well, coming at the city from a completely wrong direction with a completely knackered car didn't help matters. Yeah, this is quite uh, quite the challenge. I am wondering if going towards the city isn't actually my best idea. I think we're going to lack the manoeuvrability, even with the well, possibility of diving in a car park, which is always a good shout for losing the army. We're probably going to lack the manoeuvrability to get there cleanly, alive, in, in one piece. I am wondering... Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was incredible. That was an amazing... I, like, uh, I was... Well, when, when it was committed to driving towards me, I was expecting him to fall off. I didn't quite expect him to go to space. There we go, NASA. Who needs rockets when you can crash a bike into the front of an Evo 6? Um, not that we should sacrifice Evo 6s in that manner at all, but apparently it does work quite well at launching um, people. Anyway, before that uh, distraction, was that from the bike guy? Or was that from me, that the blood splat on the windscreen? Michael looks like I don't think I've taken that much health damage, so that might be from the uh, motorcycle rider. Anyway. My plan, my strategy for this one that I think we're going to probably struggle with, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. The same that we did with the double-decker cars. Now, that is to head to the runway. The reason why this might work, I don't think it will, but it might. There is a lot more space for me to exploit with the vehicle. I fear we're not going to be quick enough to lose the helicopters, but I'm hoping that I will be proved wrong in that one. We will see, though. So, yeah, we will bound our way down here, and I'm hoping that the cars will take too long to get turned around. I'm going to need to get off that sand, and now we've got a, uh, a roadblock going on from these guys. That's not helpful. We've lost all our momentum. Now the helicopters are right above us. Oh, we're going to get swiped by that as well. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to work, unless, for whatever reason, somehow the helicopters can get confused. We are going to really struggle. I mean, I can deal with these guys, because these guys don't get to... Oh, maybe they do. What are you doing there? That's not normally what you do at the runway. We've got to 80 miles an hour, but I just can't... Oh, I can just hold on to the car for, for that bit. Yeah. <laughs> that is not a sight that you want going on behind you there. That is not a fun sight at all. Oh, we didn't make it. No. <laughs> that was more damage that I didn't need to apply to my car. I thought we'd be going quick enough to make that. Apparently not. Well, now we're in a little bit of bother. It's just not fast enough. With the, without these tyres, we are not quick enough to get away from the helicopters there in the way that I wanted to. Now, my plan here... Ooh, hello. What's going on with that? I don't know. Uh, we might still be able to get into the city this way. It's going to... Oh, involve some very low-flying helicopters and we're going to eat a large number of bullets, but we'll probably be relatively safe from collisions with cars. I say relatively safe. Cars will follow and will spawn around this uh, construction site or my rallycross track as I tend to use it, but they probably won't be able to hit me as much as if we were on the motorway, and it'll be at slower speed, so we'll hopefully take less damage. Uh, without the tyres, this is not really ideal for tackling the... <laughs> You just can't put any power down. It's 30 miles an hour around here. Oh, hello there. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. We're going over here now. We're going to go over here, and then we're going to bounce our way off-road, and we're going to find a barracks. Where did you come from? Oh, you're probably down that part of the course. Um, I could probably do with finding my way out relatively sharpish, I'll be honest. We could we could get back out onto... I say onto a road. We don't actually want to be on a road. We want to be to the side of the road. We want to be on the grass at the side of a road. That way we might get into the city without being murdered, and then it'll all be a... Not, I tend not to like using the car parks too much, but with this, that is my only hope. If I can find another way of doing it, I would rather, but for this car, I really don't see another option in terms of getting away from the army. 
it's just not quick enough. And even even a car park won't necessarily be straightforward with this because the army are going to be closer to us than you would like. It'll be slower getting up the ramps than I would like. Ooh, it's going to get dragged sideways. There we go. Bounced it off a tree, but we're all right. It's not going to be plain sailing, even if we can dive it into, into the car parks. Uh, I'm slightly the wrong angle for tackling this building, which is not good. Get ourselves around here. <laughs> it's just all very, very slow motion. Whatever I'm doing is incredibly slow motion, and the army are at normal speed, which does not tend to end particularly well for me in the Evo. We're going to we'll find our way along this sort of ridge, and then we've almost made it into the city. At least we've made it into the city this time with a less smoky engine, although I shouldn't speak too soon because we've not quite got there and the army is still coming for me, and now they've found me in the off-road area. That's not helpful. Okay, we're going to bounce our way down here because I've lost it. <laughs> I haven't got the steering, grip, power, anything to get myself back up that hill, and once we would started going down, I figured it'd be better to carry the momentum and go down, and then we could go around later than faff about trying to get back up and then get whacked by something. So, yeah, we've made it to the city at least. We're on the outskirts of the city, and this is going to hurt because I don't think we're going to be able to turn in time. I can't turn. I just, I literally cannot turn the car in time there. There's just so little that I can do. Because I've got to try and... I've got to try and trick the army car, the barracks, in going one way, and then I've got to turn the other direction fast enough to avoid it. But I can't in this car, basically. I, I, if I leave it too late to... Uh, to turn. Oh, the ghost banshee is going. Oh, I think we've got ghosts in all of the cars. I don't know why the game does that sometimes. When I'm in, when I'm in these chases, where it sometimes just removes all of the uh, pedestrians inside of the vehicles. I wonder if it's going to be spawning in so many army guys uh, inside the army cars that it does it. Anyway, yeah, I, I can't swerve out of the way in time because I've got to leave it long enough to change direction to trick the army, but then not so long that I can't get turned. And because this doesn't get turned. It, it's the latter all of the time, basically. Uh, I have come up with a little bit of a plan here. Possibly. Now, am I where I think I am? Yes. Okay, plan. Cunning plan. We're trying to minimise the damage done to me by the barracks and the like by, well, going ways that they won't follow me. Now, I know they're going to spawn in pretty quickly down here, but it's just given me that little bit more time. It's given me a couple more minutes where we're not taking immediate punishment. And I say a couple more minutes, it's not giving me that long, but it's given me something. Ah! Found a gap. There was an Evo-sized gap there. Please get stuck on that. Yes. Thank you. A bus stop has helped me. And it's not a normal ally, but it has been a helpful one this time out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Go, 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 go before he gets turned. Thank you. Uh, we might have spent a lot of our time on the pavements, actually. It might do me better. I'll be honest with this car. If we are on the pavements, we've started smoking, so this has got to, we've got to get to the, the big car park. We've got to get there quickly. No, please don't. Okay, your steering seems to be locked up. I'm okay with that. Your steering can stay locked up for as long as it likes, and I'm perfectly happy. I see the car park. Come on, Evo. Use what little speed. In fact, we're actually really, really well positioned. We are super well positioned. But how the bloody hell has that happened? That has been... <laughs> Unfortunately, I think something did spawn it in front of me a little, uh, a little bit uh, at the wrong moment there, because we got out, we got outside of the wanted radius before diving into the car park. Now we're tr I'm trying to take speed, but it's so difficult because there is no grip. There is nothing here. It just wants to be going sideways the whole way up here, and then well, I can drive it like that up here. Oh, I can't drive it like that up here because I've hit a wall, but. Uh, <laughs> You can do that, however, you're going slowly, and there's no there's no good option for it, basically. This is, if anything, my best bet, and we've been spotted once again, and I don't know where from, probably a helicopter. Or was it the scraping of the wall? I don't know. Anyway, this is my best bet. I've got to not stick my nose out too much. If a helicopter can wreck himself, that helps. It's hovering pretty close, but there we go. I'm kind of positioned ready to ready to scoot around the corner should we need that extra couple of seconds. Admittedly, I think there's a helicopter above me, so I think as soon as we go out, we're going to get seen. But there is a helicopter above me. Uh, just see, although it has to bug it off, which is helpful there. Uh-oh. Soldiers, 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 soldiers. We've got to go onto the roof now, and that is not what I want to be doing. We've got to get onto the roof and get onto this roof quickly. There are, oh, there are cars up the other... In fact, there's a wreck of a helicopter up the other... <laughs> 
They've got civilian cars. Yeah, come on. We'll lead you on a merry race around the car park roof with your panto and... Uh, I think it's a Zion. Uh, oh, they've got another one. Why have they, uh, <laughs> have they got their own cars stuck? I think they might have done. I think they might have got their own cars stuck. Come on. Follow the Evo! That is a hell of a shot. Um, we're gonna... Ah. Okay, no, we're good. Did, oh, come on, you didn't follow the Evo. That was rubbish. That was completely and utterly... Oh, dear. Um, that was very rubbish indeed. I thought I might be able to roll that one over in time. In the end, that was quite risky and likely to explode my car. We survived, though, so that's the important bit in all of this. If that didn't work, I'm... Not sure there is much hope. Oh, there goes ah oh, the engine. I think it's going to go. It's not going to be long now until the engine conks out. I don't know what else hope there is for the Evo. Maybe the storm drains. But the car park is the better bet of the two anyway. The storm drains. I might know where we can go. But that does tend to rely on me being away from the army before we get there. And trying to shake the army before we actually get there is not easy. Ooh, some big slidey moments and a bit of a bounce off the back of that. I'm losing all power as well now. That that doesn't help matters, and neither will that lack of control through a bush. Something's exploded. Don't know quite what, because there's not much low-lying stuff. Oh, okay. A helicopter crashed into the overpart. Well done, helicopters. Just well done. Um... Yeah, I, I, I think, sadly, the Evo is not not going to survive this one. There's a cough and a splutter again from the engine. Oh, we've dodged something. That's about the most successful dodge that uh, we have done. We got out of the wanted radius at one point. Okay, that is a positive to take away from this. At one stage, we did get out of the wanted radius. Unfortunately, a vehicle was in front of us. I don't know if it came around a corner or spawned in in front of us. Quite how it worked just before we dove into the car park that didn't help and I think the helicopters may have spotted us going up the car park or something so yeah we we got in trouble although we have actually managed to just about outrun the cars down this point which is not too bad going uh oh uh oh uh oh oh I hope I could get ahead of him I could not at all we got murdered in that now there is a a way into the storm drain up this end, a little bit of a different end than the one that I would normally kind of approach the area from. I was hoping the straight could help me, aid me a little bit in all of this getting away. But, uh, oh no. Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, this is now this is really definitely not good. It's got no grip to get back up. No! Car! Car! Stay out of the water! Somehow we're alive. The Panto's still chasing me! No! Not with the shotgun! I've crashed into your Panto! Do something about that! Don't come shoot me! Okay, water, please don't be too deep. Please don't be... Oh. I don't know if the car's broken or we've drowned it. Well, it doesn't matter either way. It's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that this is a particularly um, viable getaway strategy. The car is holding up very well, but we're not, we're, we're not going to get away. It's just too slow. We don't have the... the speed at any point to to get away we can't get up a car park quick enough we can't get far enough away to dive off road it is just that little bit uh, yeah a little bit too slow and a little bit too uncontrollable and if we do get clipped by an army vehicle for example we get spun out so easily it doesn't help matters the evo was a uh, pretty damn tough car it took a lot of bullets took a lot of crashes before it finally did go go down but yeah, trying to get away without any tyres is, is, is not a good idea. However, that is uh, going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.